Hey guys, welcome back to Bows Fan TV and today we're doing the match preview for our game against Luigo tomorrow evening at Daily Mill Park. Um, yeah, look, a bit of a disappointing result on Monday night against Shields. It, it was a game of two halves, really, let's be honest. Um, we started pretty poorly. Um, we didn't look on it. Um, you know, we couldn't really you know, get get on the get on the front foot and shells then go ahead from Jack Moylan and yeah, look, <clears throat> it's poor defending in my opinion. Um you know, you know, it's it's a good finish from Moyle and he's a good player, but I think Novak has to do better there. He, he lets him go past him way too easily. Um and yeah, look, they take the lead and for, for throughout that first half really we were we were poor. We were very, very poor and and yeah, look we 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 knew we needed to see a reaction in the second half and, and look to be fair we got one. Um we made a couple, we made a change at half time. We did take um we take McDonald off or Barrett and we play uh, Bucko in midfield and I think that changed the game for us really. I think Bucko was very, very good midfield in the second half. We looked a bit more threatening going forward. We were on the ball a lot more. Um we look like a threat and yeah, look, we we, we get the equalizer then to rally too, a good finish from outside the box and you know that'll that'll be good for his confidence. Look, he's been he hasn't played much football for us over these past few months. But you know, he's starting to get back into the team now a little bit and show a little bit of form, I suppose, and that'll that'll be good for us for these last five games. But you know, we're heading into a, a very important period of the season now. But it's another must win game tomorrow. Look, we've had loads of these games now over the past few weeks. We we said it every week. Well, this game's a must win. It's a must win, and we haven't really we haven't won them, have we? You know, so it's 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 important now that we go out here and put in a good performance and and um <clears throat> and win the game. Look, simple as that. Um, we're coming up against a pretty poor Sligo team, in my opinion. Uh, they haven't got anything to play for really. They're going to finish what seventh, eighth, um. You know, look. I know we were beaten up there back in in, in June, three uh, one, and in a in a in a bad performance. But they've since lost players like Max Matter, and you know, they haven't. You know, they, they they've won two on the bounce there, but they were against UCD and Derry, who were down to ten men for a bit of that game. And I think there was a, a suspicion that their goal might have been a handball. But look, we're at home to a team who are you know, in 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 mid table now we've nothing to play for. I think it'd be it'd be near enough unacceptable for us not to go out and win this game in my opinion. Um yeah, look, I'll go through a predicted team now anyway. Um yeah, look a lot of a lot of debate about you know, should we how should how should we change things up, who should be playing where. Um, you know, I I I think we'll see changes but I don't know how many you know how how different will the team look? Um, I know a lot of people are calling for Kane Byrne to play. I don't, I don't, want, I don't know if I go that far now. Look, Novak and Casper aren't filling us with loads of confidence at the moment to get that. But I think it'd be a bit risky now to play Kane Byrne in such a crucial stage of the season with so many, you know, most swing games coming up. I think if we were cha if we were to change too much, it might stroke things a little bit. So, uh, I'd go, I'd be going with Talbot and goal, obviously. Um. I played Bart that right back. I thought he played well in the second half when he came out against Shells. Um, looks ready now. I know Devine said after the Shells game that maybe he wasn't quite up to speed, and that's where he he didn't quite he didn't um he didn't start many games. But I think he he now I think we're in a position now where we have to play Buck on midfield. I don't think we can afford to play Bart right back. Um, two set the halves. Novak Casper. Again, like I said, people are calling for Kane Byrne, but I just, I just I don't think the boy will take that risk and, and drop one of them. Um, left back, I've got to go with Paddy Kirk. Look, he, he seems to be fit again. Again, I've, I've said it before, I don't think we should be playing midfielders in, in, at full back. I think it, it, it does make us a bit disjointed. Um, so I'd be going with Paddy Kirk at left back. Uh, midfield, I'm going to have uh, Bucko and McManus as a two with uh, James Clark just ahead of them. I think that's probably our best midfield at the moment. I can't see there being much challengers there. Maybe McDonald when we play, but I think that's what the last sort of three would be going with. Um, front three, I'm going to have Ali Q on the right. I think he's done enough there in the Shells game to prove that he deserves a star there for this game as well. Uh, a few eyebrows were raised when he came back into the side, but I think he, he has done well. It, he, he, he was he was in and out with the draw of the game there a couple of weeks back, but he, he was getting involved more in the in the shells game. So I I'll be playing him on the right. Uh, on the left, I'm gonna go with Dylan Connolly. I know that's maybe not his natural position. You know, he, he'd probably be more of a right winger, but I think we could deal with some of his pace. I know look he hasn't got much end product. But look, we said that before about Connolly, but I think we could deal with a bit of his work rate, his um his pace. You know, he might 
get a ball in the box for Rafa Labi or something who obviously will play up front. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the team we'll be going with tomorrow. Um, look, like I said, we've got five games left now. We've got to be looking at these games with cup finals. Look, we know we have the Galway game as well after this. Um, and, um, you know, we, but, you know, you've got to have your full... Uh, your full focus for now at the moment anyway on those league games uh that are coming up. Uh obviously slowly go tomorrow. It'll be at home. It's 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 against a poor slowly go team. I, I, I wanna see a good performance. I wanna see a, a, a performance where we're comfortable. We're not giving away silly mistakes. We're not, you know, fans aren't, you know, throwing things away, you know, in tall, but you know, we need to see a good performance from these players. Um, you know, we need to see a, a comfortable, assured performance. Um, you know, not I don't want to see a game where we're crap in the first half and we put on we turn it on then the second. We don't want to see a complete performance, uh, you know, from minute one to ninety. I want to see a good performance, you know, a dominant a, a dominant performance and a and a win. Look, that's all that matters at this stage of the season. You know, we missed it we missed a good opportunity there these past couple of weeks, you know, look at the drop of the game. We could have gone a good we could have gone ahead of shells and then we could have gone even more ahead of shells if we haven't if we had a one on uh, on Monday, but we've we've got two we've got two points from those two games, and yeah, look, that's disappointing. And look, we've got a home game now to prove things, uh, another home game to prove things right, to put things right, and to and to, to get three points. Um, I'm gonna back us. I don't, look, I really back us to those games, and I think I think at home to a team like Sligo who haven't got much to play for. And we've got a lot to play for. We really should be winning. I don't want to see these sort of performances again where we're, like I said, where we're, where we're off for a little bit and then we, we turn it on again when we maybe when we go a goal down or something. You know, I think I think it's important that we have Buck going in the midfield as well. We need a, a dominant player in there. He you know, he he was getting on the ball on Monday night and trying to make things happen as well. So I think it's it's very important that Vaughan gets the team spot on. Um, otherwise we could be in a bit of bother, but. Yeah, we should have no problems here. Look, this is what we're talking about. You know, something could happen, but we should have no problem in this game. I'm gonna go with a two 0 win. Um, I think Afalabi will get a couple of goals. I think he, he he's probably due a goal at the moment. I know he's only he's it's not like he's gone on a massive goal drill or anything. He's only but not scored in his last two games. Look, I'm not saying that that's a that's bad from him or anything. I'm not giving giving him stick for that. But you know, it would be it would be nice to see him get on the score sheet again. And look, yeah, look, a good a good performance and a comfortable performance is all I'm asking for, and, and a win of course. And look, hopefully we can deliver that tomorrow night. Um, like I said, these last five games are very important. Um, we need to see a good performance from the team from minute one to ninety. Um, you know, <clears throat> and look, just trying to and and ease the sort of worries around. Maybe not getting into the not getting into Europe again this year, you know. Try and not make it all about the cup. You know, we need to start performing in the league. If we can get a win here and then follow by a win against UCD, um, then we we should be in a decent enough position to try and get into that fourth spot or possibly even third, uh, if if Pats don't pick up their form. So yeah, look, hopefully we just get the three points tomorrow. That's that's you know take a game by game, and then we can focus on the uh, on the Galway game and the cup. So yeah, that's going to end the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below what you're thinking at the end of this game, your score predictions, uh, whatever, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.